Hello dear friends, Ewell Humphreys again. I want to share with you about a 10 minute message on heaven. And I've entitled it, uh, Heaven is <clears throat> Plentiful, It's Permanent, and It's Precious. Think about the three P's of heaven. It's plentiful, and it's permanent, and it is precious. First of all, I want to speak to you on the word, and may God bless it to your hearts. In the name of Jesus, I depend on him for a word from the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. The Bible says in Revelation 21, it says that, that it's plentiful in all the things that we need to make one happy. And you're going to have happiness forever without any end. The Bible says in the 21st chapter in, in heaven that God will wipe away all tears. God's going to wipe away all tears from your eyes. There will be no more sorrow. Neither will there be any crying. Neither will there be any more death. Nor will there be any more pain. All these things are washed away. And so we see then that the things that break your heart, the things that burden your soul, the things that, things that make you worried sometimes about them, all these things are wiped out. There will be no more worry, no more fear, no more death. You won't have to worry about dying. You'll never die. No more pain. You'll never have to worry about pain because you won't have to need any kind of medicine. You're all eternally healthy with new bodies, even like unto the body of Christ. And so this is heaven. Hallelujah. Plentiful in all that we need. And I thank God for that. Plentiful in that we don't, we don't, we need very little of anything else at all, except just enjoy what the Lord has prepared for you. Bible says again, in uh, the Lord God in heaven there will be no, uh, that there will be no need of the sun or the moon, for the Lord God Almighty is the light, and and the Lamb of God will lighten it, and so. The Lord God Almighty and the Lamb of God, which is Jesus Christ, will be the light of heaven. And there will be no night there, no darkness, because they are the light of the kingdom. And we'll walk in light forever. Hallelujah. And I thank God. And some of you are facing some problems in your life. I want you to know that this life down here is very a very, very Im, Im, imper, impermanent. <laughs> it is so soon over. It's very short. And we are facing each day knowing that it's just a few more days and it'll all be over and we'll be in heaven forever. So look up. Keep your eyes face, face, fixed on Jesus and upon heaven. Fix your mind and your thoughts upon the things of God in heaven. And know that you're on your way. And nothing is going to stop you. You'll get there. You'll be there. I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor anything in all creation will ever separate you from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. He loves you and that love will get you through. He keeps you going because he's the one that is leading and he never gets tired. Let the hand of God hold you, and you will be held, and you'll never fall. You'll keep going. And the hand of God is with you now. And so it's a, it's a plentiful place. A plentiful place. Not only a plentiful place, but it's a permanent place. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be a place where, where we'll live forever. And we'll never come to an end. Over in the Bible again, in Revelation, and the 21st first chapter of Revelation, again it says, and there were there will be 12 gates uh, around the uh, walls and 12 foundations of each gate. Each gate will be made of pearl and they will have names written upon them, the names of the apostles of our Lord and disciples of our Lord. And so in heaven, those foundations are going to be laid and I mean, it is laid and they will never fall. They will never crumble. The walls of that city are made forever. And it's permanent. It will last forever. It will stand across the ages because God has made it 
and they're as permanent as God. And so praise the Lord. When you get to heaven, you won't have to worry about ever leaving it because it's permanent. When you get to heaven, you won't ever have to worry about getting old and passing away because you're going to be as permanent as those walls and as those gates. And you'll shine like they do. They have beautiful walls as beautiful, beautiful jewels. The gates are all one big great pearl of each gate. Oh, praise the Lord for the beauty of heaven. And Lord God knows that it's made for you, prepared for you from the foundation of the world. And the Lord loves you and he's with you. Don't give up. Keep looking up. And don't be afraid to die because death is going to bring you into the kingdom of God and into the jeweled blessing beauty of heaven. Hallelujah. And so that's important for us to see. It is permanent. Not only is it permanent and it's plentiful, but it is precious. It's precious. Over in Revelation again, we read in chapter 14, And I heard a voice saying <clears throat> and unto me, Write, Blessed are they who die in the Lord, for they shall rest from their labors, and their works will follow them. Blessed are those who die in the Lord. You know, we think sometimes of the death of our loved ones as something that's just so hard and terrible to face. But you really, really, when you get to thinking about it, it's a wonderful thing for them because they're going home. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Now, it may be heavy on your heart, and I can understand that. God knows it, and even he did weep at the grave of Lazarus, but he knows that beyond the tears, there's joy and peace and power, and God is bringing you in, and he leads you to a home in heaven and a mansion prepared for you. Hallelujah. So blessed are those who die in the Lord. They're blessed in the sight of the Lord. Your loved ones that have died, they're blessed in the sight of the Lord. And when you come to death, you're going to be blessed in the sight of the Lord. Blessed are those who die in the, in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And we know that's true. I guess one of the greatest, in fact, I'm sure, the greatest thing about heaven is that Jesus will be there. Hallelujah. Jesus will be there. The Bible says over in Revelation, <clears throat> in the 19th chapter of Revelation, it says, And I, John, saw him who came into the throne, and it was Jesus. And he had upon his vesture a name written, Lord of lords and King of kings. Lord of lords, King of kings. Oh, the last time this whole world saw him, he was nailed to a cross. But the next time they see him in glory, he's going to be wearing the robes of eternal glory, and in upon his thigh and upon his vesture, there'll be the name Lord of Lords, King of Kings, the mighty God, the Holy Lamb, the precious Savior. Yes, we'll see Jesus. Uh, <clears throat> Fanny Crosby, born blind, uh, was coming near her death and someone said to her uh, Fanny you've done so great you've written so many great hymns and it's wonderful but I, I know you've always probably said oh what I would give to be able to see she said well I've never really felt sorry for myself because I've kept this in mind the first face I'm going to see is the face of Jesus Amen <laughs> I like the illustration told about the man who went to visit a friend of his. And as they were visiting in the friend's house, the, his friend said to him, uh, tell me, we're, we're both Christians, but you know your Bible real well. Tell me, uh, what is it going to be like to be in heaven? And the man replied, and he said, well, it's a little difficult to tell you exactly because of what the scriptures teach. But, and then he said that he was interrupted, he heard a scratching on the front door. And he stopped, and, and he listened, and he said, now, that, that scratching is, is for my dog. He's been sitting out there, laying out there at the front door. He's been out there a good while while I'm in here, and he's got a little impatient. He wants to come in. He wants to come in. Now, he don't know what's in this room, and he don't know anything about it, and he's really not too interested at all in what's here. 
in the room, how big it is, how what kind of furniture it is, and what we may be doing. All he wants to do is know is the fact that I'm in here, and he wants to become near to me. And so it is with the Lord, and so it is with heaven. I can't tell you all about permanently and particularly and specifically everything about heaven, what we're going to be doing, how we're going to do it. But praise God, I know this. Jesus is there. I can tell you that. And you're going to see him. And you're going to talk to him. And you're going to walk with him. You're going to live with him. Because he's in heaven forever. And you're going to be there forever. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord God for that. Hallelujah. Amen. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace. Oh, in the mansions bright and blessed, he'll prepare for us a place. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the jubilee. Onward to the prize before us, soon his beauty will be whole. When the pearly gates will open, we shall tread the streets of gold. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the jubilee. Praise the Lord. May God be with us, and we'll meet there at the golden throne, and we'll be there forever. Hallelujah. Pray this prayer. I want you to be sure that you're going to be there. Pray a prayer like this and say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he paid for all my sins. I believe he rose again. And I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus. Help me live for you. Amen. Pray a prayer like that and then find you a good church and worship God with his people. Hallelujah. And you dear Christians, remember this, that when you find yourself in trial and trouble, look up. Oh, there's better days coming for you. There's a wonderful hour and a wonderful time and a wonderful place. God has prepared it for you. And praise the Lord. We're on our way home. We're on our way home and we're going to make it by the grace of God. God loves you and I love you. Amen.